Day two of chance outside the Hartford Sunrise location with group home employees back on strike Wednesday morning. And even as these workers marched in the fog, the message was as clear as ever, calling for better wages and benefits. Can't take no more. Antonia and Tico says it's what they deserve. We haven't gotten a raise in over 15 years. That's unacceptable. We risk our lives every day during the pandemic. The union representing 149 Sunrise employees at 28 group homes and day programs across the state now fighting for what they call a fair deal. With uh, fair wages, over $17 an hour. With uh, affordable health insurance, right now it's at $6,000 a month for family health insurance in terms of their premiums and for a pension. Those demands come after Governor Lamont allocated $184 million in additional funding for group homes and day program workers in Connecticut. However, union officials say that money is not being reflected properly in a contract. We would like to get a contract as soon as possible. We've been settling contracts with other agencies here really quickly without having to go to a strike. Sunrise Northeast Executive Director Don Frey says the organization is committed to reaching a contract that gives employees wage increases and benefits they deserve. In a statement Tuesday, Frey said, quote, We submit a request to the state last week seeking additional funding for health care and retirement and are awaiting those decisions. We've tentatively agreed to wage increases and remain committed to negotiating. The union says they are expecting to resume those contract negotiations with Sunrise tomorrow at noon. And these strike lines, these were also formed at other Sunrise locations across the state, including New London, Danielson, and Columbia. And tomorrow at noon, as those negotiations pick back up once again, all of these workers will come together at the Hartford location. Reporting in the capital city, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.